my name is Alex, and today I will be talking about Brave Wave Productions, a company that I recently founded here in Japan、uh, last January.、Uh, we are a music label, and we work with game musicians from all over the gaming industry in order to bring、uh, good music. We also look to bring、uh, gaming music to、uh, indie games that are currently under development. This slide is called Koopa Soundworks. This、uh, Brave Wave was originally an individual project called Koopa Soundworks. Same idea, same goals, but we just uh, used uh, Nintendo's、uh, non trademark name and we didn't think that was a good idea, so we changed the name to Brave Wave so we wouldn't get sued. That's the story behind Koopa. And now we're at Bit Summit、uh, 2014, Sound and Vision Kyoto Indie Game Festival. It's、uh, my second time being at Bit Summit, but it's my first time as a sponsor. We are a silver level sponsor because we certainly believe in the spirit of Bit Summit and we feel that indie games in Japan and elsewhere deserve to have their attention as well. So we're very happy to be supporting it. World 1 2 was an album, our first album that we released when we were still known as Koopa Soundworks. It has tracks by a lot of different gaming musicians from the,、uh, from the industry, such as Manaimi Matsumai, Keiji Yamagishi, Akira Yamaoka, Chip Soul, and so forth.、Uh, this was also available on Bandcamp and iTunes if you're interested. This is World 1 2 Encore, which、uh, takes the same idea from World 1 2,、uh, getting musicians from all over the gaming industry together. However,、uh, this is all remixes of existing songs, either from the first World 1 2 album or、uh, other games, such as Zelda and Metroid. So give it a listen if you have the chance. This is Year 1. It's a mini album,、uh, it's not a full fledged album. But it commemorated the first year that、uh, Brave Wave became an entity, which was、uh, November 2012.、Uh, this came out in November 2013, and basically all the proceeds of this album went to the Typhoon Haiyan that hit the Philippines a few months ago, so it's a non profit album. Influx was released a few days ago on March 4th, 2014. It's our first album as a company, and it Carries the same、uh, meaning or the same、uh, symbolism as World 1 2, a compilation album.、Uh, we have some actually here at Bit Summit, and it's also available on Bandcamp. A lot of great songs in this one. This is a concept art from a new project called Project Light.、Uh, that's a working title, but Project Light has a lot of、uh, composers from Capcom, ex Capcom, such as Manami Matsumae, Harumi Fujita, and Yoko Shimomura. Ippo Yamada as well, and they're coming together to, as kind of a reunion album. So we'll be putting this out later. Shovel Knight, it's not an album, but it's actually a game that was funded through Kickstarter, an indie game. Comes out at the end of this month、uh, outside of Japan.、Uh, we contributed two songs by having Manami Matsumae, who did the original Mega Man,、uh, write the songs for two stages. So when that news hit, the Kickstarter money actually went up dramatically. So it proves how. Strong people like Manami Matsumae, who's pictured here, and the influence that they have on the industry. You know, Manami Matsumae is a very special member of Brave Wave. She is contributing many songs to World 1 2 and Influx, Project Light, Shovel Knight. She didn't really believe in her own ability, but you know, when we got in contact with her, she finally started getting the hunch to start making music again. This is Saori Kobayashi. She is known for the Panzer Dragoon.、Uh, Saga and Panzer Dragoon Orda soundtracks, as well as the recently released Crimson Dragon. She will be performing live here at、uh, Bit Summit tomorrow, Sunday, in the afternoon, which will be broadcast on Nico Nico. Please look forward to that. We were also working very closely with her. This is Yumiko Takahashi. She is working with Saori Kobayashi on、uh, a band called Akane. And she is going to provide the vocals for、uh, Saori's live performance tomorrow. And they are currently active、uh, as well for their Akane band. So please look forward to that as well. This is Eric s i r k He's actually at Bit Summit here today trying to get in touch with Japanese developers. He is the composer for games like Spelunky and、uh, Hotline Miami. He is an indie music com- game composer as well. And his goal at Bit Summit is to begin working with Japanese game developers who need music. He loves Japanese music as well. And this is Chip Soul. She was here yesterday and she, she、uh, performed live. And she's a very energetic, jumpy、uh, composer who makes her music using the old school Game Boys that were modified to act as DJ、uh, material. She is also always interested in looking for new projects. This is Stemage. His real name is Grant Henry. He's also a musician. Uh, he did the composition for Metroid Metal, among other things. He's also working with Brave Wave on a few songs. One song was also an Influx, which was a composition with, or, or actually a compilation with Manami Matsumae. 
he's also interested in getting in touch with Japanese developers. This is Harumi Fujita. She is known mainly as the the composer for Mega Man 3, and she will be working with us on Project Light as well. So she's definitely someone to pay attention to. We're hoping to uh, work too closely together with her as well. The next track, uh, there are two people in here that I want to talk about. With the left, the one on the left is Ippo Yamada. The one on the right is Keiji Yamagishi. Ippo Yamada works at Inti Creates, uh, but he's also a composer. For me personally, his significance comes from the original Resident Evil. Yamagishi Keiji, uh, he did the composition for Tech Mobile, Captain Tsubasa, the original NES Ninja Gaidens, and basically he's also working uh, with Brave Wave very closely as an important member. And he's also working on a solo album. Here's another picture of Ippo Yamada and of Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed, I'll talk to you a little bit more later. Ippo Yamada, I really like his style. It's very, very interesting. And this is me. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Uh, and I love Resident Evil so much, I collect every version from every country. And I'm running Brave Wave as the CEO and Business Development Coordinator. I try to bring together people like Mohammed who can't speak Japanese, to people like Manami Matsumai who don't speak English, uh, and hopefully try to make good things. This is a sketch of Mohammed. He is really the heart and soul of this project. I run it as a CEO, but he's the president. And it's always his ideas his a taste for music that bring Brave Wave together and that really give it its identity. So Mohammed's always thinking of new ideas, he's always wanting to get in touch with uh, lots of people, so please definitely give us a ring. Thank you very much.